The once powerful newspaper owner and industrialist died alone in his mansion called Xanadu, where he had accumulated the loot of the world. I've got to go deep on this story. I need to find out who this guy was as a human being. I need to talk to the people who knew him. I remember when someone asked him what people would think. They'll think what I tell them to think. Then again, he could be utterly honest about himself. You know, if I hadn't been very rich, I might have been a really great man. So you say you knew Charles Kane very well? Yes, I, I probably knew him better than anyone. What do you think he meant when he said, silencio? Uh, oh, yeah, the last word thing, yeah. Um, you know, Lynch was very cryptic. You know, he liked to say things, keep everybody guessing. Wait, did you say Lynch? Uh, uh, no, Kane. Uh, Charlie. I mean, Charlie. I met Mr. Kane when I first got to Hollywood. He paved the way for me. He was tall and handsome, and he loved me. Tall and handsome? But uh, he was known to be, uh, how shall I say, a womanizer, wasn't he? He had bad skin. I don't know, it makes me kind of feel sorry for him. Don't you think I do? What did he mean by that last word of his? Silencio. Mr. Kane had everything and lost it all. The world left him behind. Maybe he felt lost in the silence. Old age is the disease you don't look forward to being cured of. <laughs>